I think NARS nailed this formulation. Wow, that is really pretty. Really beautiful. Wow. All right, my beautiful glam fam, let's get started. So today we are testing out the brand new NARS Orgasm Rising Eyeshadow Palette. This nine pan palette just released. It's a limited edition at Ulta. You guys know if you're a glam fam sister, I'm not a big pink eyeshadow person, but looking at this palette, only two of the shades are pink. One is more of a red tone pink. The other one, the Orgasm shade. Not really my cup of tea, but for the most part, all of the shades were really beautiful to me. And in person, it's even more beautiful than it was online. And I wanted to test it out because there are people that do like pink shadows and a lot of people like NARS. And I was like, you know what? Let's test it out. Let's see how it's been hit or miss over the years with me with NARS eyeshadow palettes, but let's see if this one works out beautifully. In the collection, they also released an Orgasm Foreplay blush quad, and that one I did not pick up. I was not really that keen on the last blush palette I picked up from NARS. You can check out that video. It just, to me, was not that exciting, so I wasn't gonna pick that up. But the eyeshadow palette did intrigue me. This palette runs $49, like most of the limited edition nine pan palettes that NARS releases. This limited edition palette of nine sultry, expressive shades gives pure eyeshadow pigments suspended in a unique liquid binding system to create rich, high impact color in just one stroke, featuring iconic peachy pink orgasm, plus expertly curated warm tones and packaged in a pale pink mirrored compact. So that first shade is hot wired and that is a golden shimmer. That one is incredibly beautiful. And then we have high speed, which is a sparkling opal. That's more of a topper shade. And then we have orgasm, which is a peachy pink with gold shimmer, just like the blush seven heaven. And that one is a matte sand seduced, which is a sparkling amber reckless, a satin terracotta, push it a matte warm chestnut and faster pussycat a metallic copper and galapagos i don't know if i pronounced that right i probably totally butchered it and that's a bitter chocolate infused with a gold like shimmer in there again this is limited edition and it's 1.7 grams times nine so you're getting about 15.3 grams in this so you're looking at about three dollars and 20 cents her eyeshadow pan. That's how I kind of like to look at it. And I'm sure this will probably go on sale on nars.com. So if you really like this palette, definitely check it out because I do love these warm tone. I think for my warm tone uh, eyeshadow lovers, you're really gonna like this because there are some really good tones in here. All right, you guys, let's get started on this eyeshadow look. We're gonna come up with this shade right here as the very first shade. And that one's called Seven Heaven. And that's a really pretty kind of a neutral brown. So I'm very excited to test that out. Do you guys remember that show, Seventh Heaven? That used to be my favorite show growing up. My mom and I used to watch that religiously. That's when Jessica Bill, which is Justin Timberlake's wife, that's when she was kind of getting the start. I think that's what kind of started her career off, remind me. But comment below and let me know if you guys remember that show. I used to love that show. We're gonna take that on to my Rosen Ben E28 and I just cleaned this brush and I'm just gonna do a little bit on that brush so it's nice and clean. That is a really beautiful, beautiful shade. So I do have my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas in Fair on. It's just the one I've been going to, you guys. I just think it's so amazing for mature skin. And I'm just going to, since I didn't set it down really, I just took, a, I brushed a little bit of my NARS powder on that, but I didn't really set it down. So I just wanna make sure there's no creasing before we go in there. There's nothing on this brush like extra it's just whatever was left over from when I set it down I really really love this base you guys it's so so good and I did dust a little bit of this NARS Eden powder on you guys I'm so disappointed in NARS right now if anyone watches this from the NARS team this was my favorite powder of all time besides my Charlotte Tilbury one and I am so bummed so they just came out with a new soft matte 
foundation powder that is not yet, as I'm filming, it's probably now gonna be released by the time you guys watch this, but it's not yet released. And they put coconut oil in it. And I'm like, why? Why? When it's a soft matte powder, why do you have to put coconut oil in it? It just frustrates me. And if this is so good, this was so good, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Like stop fixing things, you guys. Oh my gosh, you keep orgasm around like it's never gonna go out of style and yet you take away a really amazing powder and then you bring me powder with coconut oil in it. So I just did a little bit of this. It's just a Wayne Goss brush just to make sure I like to keep it smooth on the crease area We might go back in with the Gerard clean canvas. So I already have the uh, Seven heaven on there. I want to say seventh heaven. I don't know why and I'm just gonna dust that on very pigmented Wow Just true NARS fashion with the smooth 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 formulation Wow so Lazo, lazo, lazo. That is a really beautiful shade. All right, we're just gonna take that on the other side just a little bit. I mean, NARS, just sometimes they just put out some amazing products. Just picking up a little bit more, concentrating that pigment in the center and then just taking out the rest on the side. Gosh, that shade is really beautiful. Wow, that is a smooth application. Ooh, I think if you love pink and corals and warm browns, you are going to really love this palette. And what I like about this palette is it's small. It's nice and compact so you can travel with it nice. And you pretty much have all the shades you would want to create a really beautiful day to evening look with this. I love this packaging. Look at how cute it matches my nails. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. Tracy, my nail lady, watches my video. She's a friend of mine now. She's so sweet. Uh, but this is, uh, the color is in that D&D, &D, which is an every nail salon, and it's called Ballet something. It's like a pinky white. Oh, I love this color. But yeah, that's a really pretty shade, really beautiful. All right, I am just gonna take that same brush we were using. I'm gonna go in with my NARS powder. And just because there wasn't a bone shade in there like that, and you can do this with any powder you have at home, it doesn't have to be the NARS one. And I just like to blend out, since there's no bone shade in there, I'm just gonna blend out the edges there, just like that. Nice and smooth. All right, now let's go in with this gorgeous like terracotta brown. I'll put the name of the shade right there. This is really a beautiful shade, really pretty. All right, I am gonna go in with my Anissa Eye Crescent brush and we're gonna take that terracotta brown on there, just like that. We're just gonna stamp it in. I just cleaned this brush. It's a really beautiful, nice terracotta brown. I am gonna do a little bit because I know it's a powdery type shade. I'm just gonna dust that off a little bit just because I don't wanna get it all over the place. And I'm gonna concentrate it. I'm going to look up a little just like that so I can get into my hooded crease. I'm just going to stamp that in. Look at that, that placement is just perfect. I know Kathy said she was going to purchase this. So I hope you got it by now. I think she already got uh, purchased it. She probably already has it by now. Always look up so it allows you to get into that crease, especially for us mature skin ladies. As we mature, our eyes get a little bit more hooded and to really get into that crease, it's just a good way to keep your mirror a little bit lower than you. That is such a beautiful shade. Wow, that's really, really pretty. I think NARS nailed this formulation. Wow, that is really pretty, really beautiful. Wow. All right, gonna go into that first shade again from the transition we used, the Seven Heaven. And just go above that just to make sure we blend out those edges. We're gonna go in with my Sephora number 15 brush and go into that shade. So beautiful. All right, I'm just gonna put that one right there at the end. Kind of using it like almost like as an outer 
a start to the outer crease and we're gonna bring the lighter shades in there. Wow, this is just going on so smooth. That is beautiful. I cannot believe the ease of use with these shades. It's insanely good. All right, I am gonna take my BK Beauty Angie A504. We're gonna go into that dark brown with the gold shimmer, and we're gonna stamp that on the outside of the, like the outer V area. And that is like, it has like gold flecks in it. So we're gonna see how this performs. This is a first impression. I haven't even played with these shadows off camera yet. I'm just gonna stamp that in to see what kind of color payoff we get there. And that's pretty because it blends into that other like terracotta shimmer shade that we just used. Yeah, that's pretty. I just wanted it simple. Kind of wish that was just a dark brown. That would have been nice, but you know, maybe I asked for too much. So this is a fluffier brush. I wanted to see what kind of pigment we had before I go in. I'm gonna go in with a little bit denser of a brush. I'm gonna go in with this Sigma. This is an E34, a pointed, very dome style, short brush. The shorter the head of the brush, the more pigment you're going to get. And I know one of our beautiful Queen Onyx wanted us to, Glam Sisters wanted me to do like a brush review and just kind of talk about my favorite brushes and how to use them. So let me know if you'd like to see that video. I am going to do it uh, just because I like to, whenever we get a suggestion, I like to get it in there and just have it. There's all this new stuff at the end of the first of the year, so it's hard to get it all in. But I will get to that video, so thank you, Monique. Wow, that's so pretty. Oh. It's beautiful. So you see how much more pigment I got from that? I'm wondering if this is a spray. Sometimes it the, the first layer is glitter. I think it's not a spray though. I think it's all glitter into the brown. Sometimes they're sprays and they like ColourPop does that sometimes where you see the first layer has like luminosity and then as you go it, it, it starts to diminish diminish as you use it more. All right, I'm gonna go in back into that terracotta and I'm gonna go back to this, I'm gonna use it on this E54. Or I'm sorry, <laughs> this A504. Tie in the browns, the same shade. And I always put the shades right there for you guys to see what I'm using. I hope you enjoy that. Let me know if you like that kind of stuff. It takes me a while to edit my videos, you guys, because I do a lot of graphics. I do a lot more than other people do because it it's fun for me. I love editing. It takes me longer to put out a video because I do all that because that takes a lot of hours. All right, I'm gonna go into that first shade, Seven Heaven. I just remember it because of the, I always tie things into things I already know. So because it reminds me of the TV show, I remember this name. I can't remember any of the other names in the palette. Just going back over and stamping. Ooh, this is a really beautiful palette. Way more, I'm just way more impressed than I thought I was going to be. I really am, it's crazy. I'm gonna take my Sonia Mini Booster, uh, Sonia G Mini Booster, I'm gonna go into that shade right there. And I'm just gonna kind of stamp that in there just to kind of build up that little area right there. And when we clean up, it always comes together, so. Bear that in mind, please. Oops, I kind of messed up, that's all right. Nothing we can't blend out. When in doubt, blend it out. All right. I am gonna take a little bit of my NARS uh, blush in Zen, and I like to use this as a contour uh, sometimes. I like to sculpt my face with this one. We're gonna use a little bit of this. I always love using this shade as an eyeshadow as well. And I'm just gonna take that onto my Sigma E40 and we're gonna just go over that just to smooth out any edges that we have. And this is part of the NARS Matte Blush Collection and I love this shade. If you've never tried it, it's a really beautiful neutral brown. It's really pretty. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the cheek. It's so gorgeous. I'll use my uh, Wayne Goss number two since I just cleaned it. You can sculpt the face with this. You can use it more as a blush. 
See how pretty that is? It kind of ties everything together. This isn't the right brush for it though. Let me use this brush instead. This is my Hakahodo. You've just cleaned a lot of my brushes. Yeah, there we go. Just needed something fluffier. It's pretty, it's just natural. It's not anything too intense. All right, now we're gonna go in and start carving out and we're gonna use that shade right there. So I think what I'm gonna do to give it some tack, I am going to put in a little bit of my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas. Try to pick up a little less than I did so you don't waste product because now I just waste it, but I'm gonna take it off the back. Like literally a little goes a long way with this. And I'm just kind of giving myself a nice little base. I'm gonna leave that there and go in with a smaller, more detailed brush, just so we don't get it all over the place. I'm gonna take my pigment brush from Dominique Cosmetics. I just think this is literally the best eyeshadow base for mature skin. It really is. It is just incredible. I think the price went back up on iHerb, but Amazon has it sometimes. It's been out of stock on Gerard, and it's been out of stock on Amazon, but I will put where it's available in the description box. This is just my favorite, and I love fair. I have medium and I have white, and those are good too, but I, I just love fair. Fair is my favorite. It doesn't shift the color tones. See how pretty that is? Now we can go in, I'll use the same brush, and now we're gonna load this brush up. Really load it up, because you wanna pack it. You don't wanna do too many swiping motions. So by loading it, you can pack a lot better. Oh, that's a really beautiful color. I wanted to try, I used this brush the other day and I really liked it. I forgot I wanted to try this. Sigma F70, this is a concealer brush. I used it in the Charlotte Tilbury video and that I recently did, I rated the new highlighter. And this is such a good brush. I picked it up during the Sigma sale. Yeah, I love this brush. Sometimes the best metallic brushes are concealer brushes because they just really melt it in to the skin for some reason. This shade is unbelievably gorgeous. Yeah, I love this brush. Wow, Zo. This is probably the best brush for packing on metallics. And just like these type of lid shades, any type shimmers, metallics, this is the best. And it has that pointed tip, so it really allows you to kind of carve that little section out. Oh, that shade is so pretty. So like the Makeup by Mario one, you know, had similar, almost similar color tones. That was a little bit more neutral than this one, than this palette, but I think this formulation is much better. And yeah, this formulation is much better. And I, I liked the color tones better in this one. I mean, minus the two pink ones that I'll probably never use. I like all the other shades. All right, I'm gonna go back in Sonia G Mini Booster. We're gonna take that terracotta shade and just kinda go over that now. Sometimes I still do the swiping motions. It's just, sometimes the swiping motion could be bad for beginners because, and Rose and Ben talked about this too, because you put too much, you don't know where to hold the brush you take away product, you waste product. So I get the whole stamping motion can be really good for beginners. All right, going in with that smaller brush from Angie BK Beauty. And I think we're gonna take that dark brown again. Just kind of stamp that on the outside. Oh, I love this palette. I didn't know I was gonna like it that much, you guys. All right, let's try this topper shade. That's what it looks like on my finger. Definitely more of a topper, but it does have some base. I like this formulation way more than I did the Makeup by Mario one for topping. Oh yeah, that's pretty. It doesn't have that sparkle, but it's pretty. It's just a subtle, shimmer. It's really pretty. All right, I am gonna do the lower lash line now because I think we all, we have that part all set up. 
and this is the like the eye brightener from Victoria Beckham. I really love this one. NARS used to have a really good one, but they don't have it anymore. All right, we're gonna use my Sephora Collection 03 Dark Brown because I can't find my Victoria Beckham one, so we'll just use this one. I love this eyeliner. It's so good for the price point. I hope they have it back in stock. It's been out of stock for a while. I'm getting low on it too, so let's hope it comes back in stock soon. All right, I'm gonna take uh, this probably, actually let's do this darker brown. I'm gonna take this refer number 23 onto this nice, beautiful, shimmery dark brown. We're just going to go over that liner. Uh -huh. I'm gonna knead it up there. Yeah, that looks really pretty over the liner. Just gonna kind of knead that up top. Doesn't that look really pretty over the liner? Yeah, that's beautiful. Wow, this palette. Okay, I'm gonna take this terracotta onto my rougher number three. All right, uh, I am gonna do this shade on my units brush. I'm gonna do this one. I can never remember the number of this brush. Now I'm gonna do my Sigma E40. Going back into Zen, load that up like that. Ooh, that's pretty, really beautiful. All right, that looks good. Okay, let's do the inner corner. We're just gonna use that inner, that first shade hot wire just to kind of tie in all the shades together. All right, we are going to also take that onto the brow bone. And let's see, which... I'm gonna take my Sigma E 47 and we're popping that onto the brow bone, that same hot wire shade. I love these little Sigma brushes and they're always on sale, these little miniature ones. Okay, I'm gonna blend out everything with Zen and then I'm going to pop off camera, put my lashes on and I'll be right back. So that is how the final look turned out. It is absolutely beautiful, you guys. What I thought wasn't going to be a palette I was really gonna be drawn to, I was just going to review it ends up being one of my top palettes. This performed so beautifully. I mean, just, it was so easy and effortless. And that's how I rate my eyeshadow palettes these days. I wanna know, are these going to perform in an effortless way? Is this a palette I can just pop in my travel bag and take with me? This is stunning. Now I can do without those pinks, let's be honest, but I know some people really like it. This shade I could use, it's more of like a burnt orange or burnt pinkish brown. It's just so beautiful. Everything in this palette performed gorgeous. These shades are stunning. Now these metallics are not like Pat McGrath, Danessa Myricks, Natasha Denona, where you get a lot of shimmer and base, but they're very easy to work with shimmers and they look really gorgeous on the eye. This is actually one of my favorite looks. I know, I say that sometimes. Sometimes, I don't say that all the times, but this palette I liked even better than the Makeup by Mario one. I just think it performed effortlessly. It is just beautiful. I topped off the look with my Amy June Eve 3D Silk Lashes. They're $10. You can use my coupon code Christy or my code, my promo code Christy15 at checkout and get 15% off. You guys know I just always use these lashes. They're just so incredible. And again, this is Eve, just so you guys know really beautiful. I can use these like a good, like five or six times. I film a lot and get a lot of makeup all over them. So, and I use mascara, which would have been more sustainable if I would, if I didn't use mascara over it, I'd be able to prolong that. But because I do, I know it, it doesn't last me as many times. All right. I am going to, I have it on right now, but I just want you guys to see how beautiful this is. This is Mesmerize. So this is the last of the Rare Beauty highlighters that I own. I've already shown exhilarate and uh, enlighten the lightest one this is mesmerize and this is more of a pinky highlighter tone it's so beautiful you guys it really is such a gorgeous highlighter I mean between this one and the Charlotte Tilbury one 
my favorite highlighters of all time. All right, so I'm gonna pack that on to my Wayne Goss airbrush and I just want you guys to see how beautiful this is. Let me get my mirror here. I mean, gorgeous. Now this one is a little bit more, I mean, it's, it's blingy, but a little bit more subtle, I think, than the other two that I have, but it's still pretty. And I thought this would be really beautiful with this look because I have more uh, warm browns on and it just looks so beautiful, like glass-like. Oh gosh, the highlighter is stunning. So this is Mesmerize. I wanted to try that on for you guys. And I did pop on Gina as my blush. This is the NARS Matte Blushes. And this is in the shade Gina. This is like a coral pink. It's really pretty, really beautiful color and it has so much pigment, but I did use my Natasha Denona My Dream Cheek um, Cream Blush first, and then I went in with the NARS Gina. This is one of my favorite blush shades of all time, and I'll just kind of fix that up real quick, just because I put the highlighter there. It's such a beautiful shade. It can pull peachy, it can pull pink. When I travel, this is the one I usually typically bring because then I don't have to bring a ton of other uh, shadows but another good way to another good thing to do when you're doing your blushes I always have this Wayne Goss brush here and I always put my blushes is to tie the look in and make things more monochromatic I like to just pop in the blush like that and it just ties everything together it is stunning I did pop a little bit of mesmerize on the inner corner from the rare beauty but I just love this palette this is a solid five out of five this is an incredible palette and I don't know why more people are not talking about this because this formulation, and I think what it is is that people are sick of the orgasm collection. I wish they almost would have named it something different then people wouldn't be so turned off by it. The people that get irritated that, okay, enough orgasm. Some people love the collection and want more and more, but the people that don't, I wish this would have been almost a different name just because it's so beautiful and I don't want people to miss out on this. This is gorgeous 100% of me would recommend this the formula the staying power on it is just incredible you guys it just literally looks effortless that is like I didn't really have to clean up too much like it was just the perfect blend it's just amazing I kind of messed up on my eyeliner glue a little and I went in and fixed it and went over it with this hot wire shade and it just everything just went on perfectly it covered it up like I never made a mistake and that's the type of shadows I like to work with I don't want to work with shadows that just disappear on me I want shadows that are going to stay that are going to be easy especially for my working moms out there you want shadows that are just one and done simple easy you can literally do the most natural look with just those two shades right there you can just pop this one on and just put on some mascara and it's beautiful so that's what I love and if you love pinks these are the type of pinks I would work with because they're so pretty so let me show you the two pinks just so you guys can see what those look like that's not even really pink that's more coral I may be able to play with that one a little bit more and that's the NARS orgasm pink and very subtle very sheer that one is not bad that's actually a pink I probably would work with just because it's pretty subtle and almost pulls actually has that mono oh it's kind of like uh, it's not gonna you won't be able to see it on the camera but it shifts gold oh that is really beautiful okay okay I'm not mad at those I'm not mad at those you guys these oh this these cloths are my favorite I'm gonna attach them on the bottom I do only clean remove my eye makeup with this now and I use the micellar water from uh, Garnier. This is my favorite one. It's the only one that doesn't make me break out. This is the hyaluronic acid in aloe. Now I didn't do best of 22 this year. I just, time got ahead of me. I feel like it's almost a waste now, but let me know in the comment section because we're by the time you watch this, we're pulling into February. I don't even know. There wasn't a whole lot of products that I were like, oh my gosh, that were brand new that hit the market that I felt overwhelmed with. There was just a few. So I think I'm just going to include that in my monthly favorites for January. I'm just gonna make that kind of January favorites best of 2022 and just really show you the products that I'm continually using 
right now. So look forward to that. There are some fails in there too as well that I tried off camera. So I am loving everything you guys. Let me know what you think of this eyeshadow look. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you watch my videos to the end, it really does help my channel out. You guys, when people only watch like a couple minutes and then turn it off, it just tells YouTube that my video has no relevance and they won't push me up through the algorithm. At 12,000 subscribers, I don't have enough subscribers to be popular enough for them to just populate me into the algorithm. So they re I really relies on commenting, liking the video, sharing the video, and watching the video in its entirety. I know not everybody has the time to watch longer form videos, but even if you just left it running and had to go do other things around the house, it really does help my videos out so much when you watch till the end. And my Glam Fam community, I know the ones that watch all the way till the end, because you typically are, you, you tell me everything during the video in the comment section. So I greatly appreciate it. You guys are champs. I love you so much. I couldn't do this without you guys. And if you're new here, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button, click the post notification bell, join our beautiful Glam Fam. We're here every Friday and Sunday and we just love for you to become part of our family. Please give this video a huge thumbs up when you guys hit the like button and when you comment below and share the video, it really does help my videos out so much. Thank you for all the love and support. All of the affiliate links will be on the bottom. You can follow me on all of my socials at Christy Allure and check out my merch, Glamorous Life Collections, and I will see you guys on the next video. Love you guys, bye. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think